A good morning, Salon, and one for welcome we other studio guests inside the program winner, the executive director for Legal Link, lawyer Rashid Dumbuya. Good morning, uh, Mr. Dumbuya, and welcome to the program, and good morning, Salon. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sierra Leone, and I'm glad for the activity. Okay, um, the people remember, say, Legal Link, don't they work on issues them we get for do with the justice, and especially, they don't they advocate for people where they get challenged for get access to justice over, or service, legal service over the past year them. And this organization, don't they advocate for the leader of the Alliance Democratic Party, ADP, <coughs> Mohamed Kamari Mansari, we, for in bail, we, they stand trial now for alleged sexual penetration. Well, the organization don't pull 15 reasons them why they think, say, the courts for give bail to Mohamed Kamarimba Mansari or why they're wrong still with Mohamed Kamarimba Mansari. They under detention, even though they be don't gain bail in say, September this year. Well, for sake of that, the executive director for the Legal Link, lawyer Rashid Dumbuya, they are for talk on them 15 reasons they are so, as the position of the Legal Link. We in an organization, we don't advocate for Kamarimba in bail. Once again, good morning and welcome. Yes, I tell you, thank you for where you know, invite me. I'm grateful. Before we look at then 15 bullet points here, we will not come up with as soon as positions on Kamarimba in issue. Now we look at legal link activities around the issue of the leader of the Alliance Democratic Party, Mohamed Kamarimba Mansari, where they stand trial now on alleged sexual penetration. Yes, um, like you rightly say, legal link now uh, an advocacy group we done the help for defend the rights of vulnerable groups at the country. And of course, also done the advocates for the adherence to the rule of law, constitutionality, and democratic good governance. And we don't exist now for almost three years. And um, we don't do a lot of court cases. We don't defend a lot of people them. And we also don't prosecute matters them. We also don't join the state uh, for prosecute certain key offenses. We don't also do a lot of legal aid for uh, many, many people in way vulnerable. And we don't defend journalists them in many respects. And we really, really glad for the small, small thing in way we they do in the country for make a difference. Of course, on the issue of also legal and policy reforms, we don't do a lot of opinion writing. On any law where they go in the parliament, we go critique them, we go help parliamentarians them for understand. And also for make we make decisions, then we go help the country move forward. Now, why we so um, particular, I mean, on this matter, Marimba, of course, let me make a disclaimer, not we need to in lawyers them, we um, get lawyers them, but then we, as an organization, where they defend the rights of um, vulnerable groups, uh, we believe political um, opponents and opposition members are vulnerable, and most often they can go through a lot of challenges them. So we are they always defend them at all times, and not only at the first person we don't um, um, put defense for in many respects, I remember also the former, um, um, the, the current uh, deputy minister of internal affairs. Um, I remember when we were in the opposition, we also, in many respects, began to um, come in rescue. And by then, I was even the commissioner for human rights. And so we, we get history of defending vulnerable groups and even opposition people, and we go to a lot of challenge. Now, um, we be quiet on the issue because the trial may be gone. We want to let the trial continue and let we hear the evidence and on all of that. But why we begin for coming sign out from the first time where we hear the verdict from the PPRC, we make it very clear say um, in the absence of the chair chairperson of um, 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 ADP party, um, they forget a you know a caretaker executive. And we look at the reason we perhaps then make a decision there and find out say in absence was occasioned by the fact that the courts may don't um, they refuse for gay and bail. So now from that moment, they will come inside for deal with the matter. And of course, the one of the long, longest trial in there, we don't, ever, we don't see. Um, it's over like um, 16 months now, almost 16 months now. Um, this issue still will not cross bail it. And the unfortunate thing where we don't see that um, the courts, after 14 months or so, decide for gay bail. And now um, we they see again another stumbling block in the area of approval of bail. And it's all, almost two months now. We still there in this quagmire. So as an organization where they defend human rights issues, rule of law issues, we're concerned. And so we don't look at the entire issue, we don't investigate, we don't talk to the lawyers, then we defend Kamarimba, we don't look at the we don't talk to even or the master and registrar, in personal column. 
on the issues them and we'll know exactly within the situation we hold this approval process and already really on both sides and so we don't sit down we don't look at the entire thing and we find out say no something and they are way wrong we need for say clearly so yesterday we now can remember in birthday we may therefore make this press conference and bring out then 15 things there so we believe say um, um the judiciary of Sierra Leone um really wrong and they're not really they handle this thing properly and this thing will continue for unbox the country international credentials. So before we can look at the fifteen specific points that we wanna don't make after the dialogues and we see when I initially be don't get with the master and registrar, Kamarimba and lawyers them and other people and before I reach to this decision. From the meetings we wanna get with people regarding the judiciary itself because now they the, the, the ball they right now. Now they get for decide finally whether or not Kamarimba will get for Komanado very soon. Waiting on a fair note from the discussion we on a get, is it that Tomlin block? Who say come out we make say now they are stuck. Kamarimba still the na na prison. Yes. Yeah, so so uh, I'm glad the way you, you ask me this question because um, me personally, um, I know they just write anything on behalf of my group. Um, I can let for investigate. So I talked to the chief justice. I talked to um, the master registrar, I call on the phone, main talk. I talked to also the lawyers, them where they represent Kamaremba, and Kamaremba himself. And of course, I also um, talked to a lot of human rights activists, them. And so I realized, even the judge, what they do with the matter. At some point, I even faced the judge and talked when I realized hey, this bail issue that be a problem. And he explained in part, and, and rightly so, there were some problems regarding because we want to see some evidence clarity on the medical report and that the lady may make you know it will make the discretion for Gibel at the time so you make it clear to me now um yes there's the issue of this passport where um perhaps the judiciary judiciary i mean the master they believe said this man gets a passport where get international uh, visa and all of that but i think say it be clear now say that need to they in disputes. Really, there was a visa in a, in a passport. But then um, there was a denial that this, this, this document was lost and in a fire accident where may reported to the police. And so um, there is a demand that the side of Kamarimba then bring this um, report to the master registrar and make this clarity be made. So that is the, one, of the, I mean, one of the main things that really cause this delay for approval. And so we look at that and we, we really put on a report say that may really not not correct. And so maybe if I get time, I will right. explain clearly on the issues. All right. All right. The program is still listening to a good morning salon. We come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. We will bring you this edition of the program. Good morning salon. Musa Kamarana Minim. And Mabel Kaba. We still get the executive director for legal link rashid dumbuya they have for talk about the 15 reasons them we then say make the judiciary wrong for we then not approve mohammed kamarimba mansari in bill um rashid before we go for that break you they make you point as to what what in exactly make una think see the judiciary wrong why they not still approve mohammed kamarimba in mansari after about in bill after about two months now we then don't get bill and you talk about the passports where you say the international passport we you know produce as a reason for that. Why you think say this different from other bills that we you don't they deal with all along in relation to granting bill and in the face of passports or document them with them for render? Yes, so so um, the issue of bail uh, we can't see now one way very critical and we get law way provide for them. Section 79, 1, 2, and 3 make them very clear. But in all the circumstances, then, um, you, you will see, say, the judge or the magistrate get discretion for grant or not grant bail. So um, we may have to keep quiet a lot, I mean, a lot because when you do it for the, the, the judge, I mean, the court, you get to take your time because the law say the court, the judge get discretion for grant or not grant bail. Now, when the judge don't exercise that discretion now, which was a difficulty in this matter, because over almost 14 months, in all, the, in, all, in all really use the discretion in favor of granting bail. Now, at the moment where he don't exercise discretion, day, you know, it's not correct now for begin to really, really try for make that discretion day not be realized in favor of the accused. And that's why we are, we are not happy with the situation, because there were many conditions where the judge put. And, and we, in wisdom, we, are, we are agree with the conditions then, because this trial is a big trial. All right, involve a, 
a big person, a political figure with the whole party. And so there was this fear of perhaps him jumping bail or, or, or the like. So they put severe conditions them. Among others, um, two shorties, house property, the issue of even reporting three times, you know, to the um, to the judiciary in a week. And of course, this issue of all travel documents, international and national. So one of the reasons that we, we make we, we really, really not happy with this, um, this, I mean, this delaying approval. And in fact, even the judge, in a, in a, in a uh, um, decision for grant bill and the others that we give, he not emphasize at all, say, if you don't go this in the international passport, no approve bill. That is not what the judge said in his orders. So we, we concern now, why, why the emphasis on this international passport? Where this man won't talk, say, he don't burn and he reports this incident to the police, and the police ought forget the report. And so that is the problem. Because now, if we don't cross your teeth, we don't cross uh, us, we don't, we, there's a reporting condition on three times. Waiting again at this delay on a document, all right, where perhaps, no, we even stop somebody from one away, all right? So, so, so the point we make now that if the judge no emphasize them, number one reason, not the order where he give, why the emphasis by the master and registrar? And the delay of approval. That's so, the first so you ask this question to the master and registrar where you be the talk with them because you say that the earlier gets conversation regarding the bill, the bill issue. Yes, so now, now, now I try to inquire what in the cause all this delay. All right, once we come out clearly now that there is this passport saga where um, the master and registrar want, all right, will be produced. All right, where they cause the whole delay. So then the meeting say it wrong for make you I mean, not approve because of. A passport where this man they claim say no day. Then the second reason why I make we also concern and see the judiciary as wrong in this matter now because the 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 the, the, the accused twin lawyer them they even make an affidavit and swear. So anytime we get you get an issue before the court so we not clear you did never something. There's a procedure on how the courts they believe say indeed what is not true. They can ask you for make an affidavit for swear say all right this right way they say it's not true. And what's the handy mean? It means to say if you lie on that affidavit today. Because you don't, the commissioner, you the swear program, if you lie now, now separate charges against you. So, Kamemba went further for even make a sworn affidavit say, this passport don't lost in a fire accident uh, at the time, and I complained to the police. So, that in itself, now evidence will, at the very least, will be relied on for move past the process. That's what we're saying. And if you doubt her, at that stage, that you, for investigator, not to him for going investigating himself. All right, and prove that point that you, where they now deny, say, uh uh, I not agree. Now you they prove, and the power so much on the judiciary for prove this. So, Rashid, right? with your legal experience, you're a lawyer and you don't represent different people, we get to do different cases, even involving bail conditions mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. We all see the pressure we've been there on the judiciary, call from the public and other people, and we've been so much interested in this for let, um, the judiciary go grant. Kamarimba bail for Lego Komot, and they're gonna they appear back as in case me they go on. From your experience, what do you think say now the problem here? Is it that the judiciary just use this that pressure will be there on them from the calling for a bail um, release? Then we just use them and clear say we don't get a bail and fence I will say go be stalked at the end of the day is still the day, but then we don't get a bail. Yeah, so I don't want for really hang on speculations, but what I know. The judiciary take the time for get to that point because the judge in me in me in me question with time and make a very clear say he still wants some clear court evidence, especially on a medical ground. And so until they produce it, he say no go make that decision. It became very clear. I mean, when we get this question with time, you know, and so there was a lot of time for make that decision, but almost 14 months. All right. Now the decision now for approved then are the master and registrar. So it's no longer before the judge. The judge don't do in your work. The master and I ain't get that. I mean, decision day. And me, they say by extension, even the chief justice. Because the chief justice, now they supervise the master and registrar. All right? So there were two days in the limelight in this matter. You know, and we will be very bold for say that. Because the master and registrar, they go to her for instructions, they go to her for clarity, they ask her many, many questions then. So, what to make the chief justice perhaps silence on this matter? We are concerned. Because if, if, if they claim, say, this passport here, so we um, not believe on waiting, then they, they don't swear up a bit. Then let it go prove them. All right? Let it subpoena the police, okay, the IG for submit the report to them, and let him look and correctly for saying, in fact, there was a found accident as, as claimed by Kamarimba. Not to Kamarimba then for saying, 
I mean, in the other point, for the for go take that report today. It's wrong. So we also blame the judiciary. The procedure for put obligation for investigate on this matter on Kamayamba and Council, it's wrong. It's misplaced. That is a bad precedent. Now, the judiciary get the obligation for investigate further. And if the final say a lie on the affidavit, they can charge them further with, for perjury, for criminal offenses. All right? So, why we not take opportunity today and now even with their more case? If we really, really want this case, at least for cross this issue of bail, why would they say no? Let them go get out the report. And they don't make effort for call the report, and the report still not come on that way. So, let the judiciary use their powers of subpoena and subpoena the head of the police for we submit that report there to the judiciary so that at the very least we will cross this issue of, of, of approval of bail. Then let, let me make some few more points if I get more time. Yes, um, the issue also of um, um, the, the delay of this trial. Honestly, it don't put the judiciary in a bad light. And that's why we are concerned. Everybody now they look and say, mm, is it, are we really fighting sexual uh, uh, penetration and, and rape on this matter? Or is it that we are using it in some other sense? So the, the bad light where the public, the city judiciary, we concern. Because this delay is really, really not correct. All right? This is not a bailable offense. Right. We really want to let them prosecute this offense and let them finish them. But then for do them so in line with due process. The delay too much. Even now for approval, we have two months. You know, I think one of the longest you know, approval processes we'll ever see in the judiciary. And it's wrong. We have to really, really take this thing serious. The judge don't give discretion. The discretion has to be respected. Right. And the master and staff will do all he can for make sure say this bill is approved. In uh, lawyer Rashid Dumbuya, we in uh, the executive director of Legal Link, they talk about the imposition on Kamarimba in bill issue. You, you don't they talk about the engagement who I don't do and also some of the points them on I put looking at the engagement who I don't get so far within the feature holes for Kamari by bail. Okay. <clears throat> I will come quickly. I beg I beg you. Let us add a few more points and I'll answer that question. A very good question now Andy. Now what other reason why make we also not happy with the master registrar or the judiciary in this matter now that even when we look at the two shorties them and then the house Condition where um, the judge puts, and even the reporting condition, we find out say if somebody don't meet to them, not they them, not they, not they sufficient. You know, we no can begin a delay now. Say if I pull passport, uh, you know, power power before we we we, 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 we let you, even though the person they say no, I not get the passport anymore. Then also, if there's good will on the part, so this is another one, strongest we will advance. If the judiciary really get good will for let this thing a little cross this bail issue, nothing not stop the judiciary on his own accord for very the conditions in back, all right? So there's a process. The judge can come back and hold the file and say, okay, since the passport issue, um, they, you know, are not too clear and we the delay on this, I can add other conditions and pull this passport issue. The judiciary is able to do So let the, let the whole world know, say, this judiciary want this thing for, for cross, this man for commonado, as the judge don't order. But we, why not it happen, we be really concerned. Then, of course, one of the things that will make very clear in which we release so that the judge don't give my bail. Now, we're in a very critical period. Approval not be given. It's almost two months now. If anything, God forbid, happen with Kamayamba, at the moment, the judiciary no go run away from the blame. At the very least, on in life. So that is very, very important for me. The notice say we are in a critical window, and the judge don't give bail. So if any delay happen, there's something happen to that. And we now know, say, Kamayamba in health to deteriorate, and it's not, it's not well. There is clear medical evidence to the fact on this. So if anything happens in this period, then the judiciary also will be helpful, be complicit regarding the matter. Then, of course, we also make the point on the fact that, let me know when I from this, Kamayamba is a political figure. So if we did downplay that day and delay the issue, in party also be, the affect, and be affected at the moment, that is not good for multipartism. In and, political plurality in the country. And, and talking about um, in political ambition we been get, mm -hmm. and we all know before it is um they into this situation, how Cameron Babin day, people be done the factorum as one pan the people and we always don't keep ruling party on their toes mm -hmm. and critic them be even they say now some of the issues here make Kamarimba fend himself aside this so they like today. But from waiting and waiting on the sea. Which one I don't see so far. Uh -huh. This is a political witch hunt, taking well, into consideration the kind way how they may refer to them as one of the paper them gang them pan politics business. Yes, yeah, so 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 that is that is the, also the perception. Many people in the whole now 
because by we interview from the public, from even civil society activists, them they all they look at now say mm, the way this thing they go, it appear like for say this is a way to silence this person because if the judge don't grant bail, waiting that refuse now for relief for delay on one document where this man they say no get, he don't swear affidavit on saying no get, and the, the judiciary didn't make effort for even investigate this rather than they put the burden on the council and Kamemba and in team for do the investigation. So there is now the perception that indeed perhaps it's another political way for silence this person. But, but, then, but, but also then, quickly, Rashid, mm -hmm. on the other side of the coin, mm -hmm. earlier before mm -hmm. we reached this stage, stage we did so um one of the court reporters them Usman Kamara been doing an interview mm -hmm. with um the judiciary who side the media person been toxic. One panel is in them we cause this delay because initially Kamarimba telling say na salon passports no more gets, but later then we get for fair not say he possess um another passport. You yeah. don't think say this self don't affect the whole situation? Yes, yeah, so so here is the thing. Now if the if person put affidavit, all right, it's worse saying that this he gets we investigate, say not so it be, you can bring up your charge. All right, so nothing stop the judiciary from being being in further charges against this man we don't lie under oath. If them really should say this person get them. But from the facts we don't see and what we do hear from the council and from Kamayemba, they make it clear say, um, um the, the passport where he may get, we get the international visa, he born. All right, now in also he may born. And the police get the report on that fire incident day. So we have to know whether the justice system don't investigate that element day and wait to make the report not come out in the day. But let me make two more points where very key for the country um, regarding this matter. Now, Sierra Leone signed so many treaties and international conventions. Then we put obligation on the state for respect rights of accused people them, and even fair trial rights. This delay where they happen right now, so don't put you in a bad light. It appears like say so we don't even violate all the treaties there, so ain't no good. And lastly, this I want to make very clear on this point: this delay where they happen at this moment and on this case, they set a dangerous precedent, and that's why some of we concern because it will appear down the line say. Some other government will want for respect human rights can to man our power, then go use their example there for go after opposition people them, keep them detained for so long, lie for them, give them trouble, and reference come remember an issue as a justification for keep them in in in, in, in Panamba World Prison unlawfully. And that's what we are afraid of. Now I make the judiciary for very careful when they say they kind of president there. If they don't grant somebody bail. Allow the press for go through, all right. Short is then are the most reliable people them where you go take for a securities and mm -hmm. old book, not to really passport, particularly passport, passport to you on our way still. But short is then can be hold tomorrow and even the, the host will be will be followed upon by the judiciary. So if we don't cross that stage, they, let's make progress. The president will they said so now dangerous and okay. tomorrow it will come back and haunt people then. That's why we are calling today as activists for saying enough is enough. Okay. Judiciary for step up and do the right thing okay. and let Kamemba in bail go through. Continue for the with we lawyer Rashid Dumbuya, executive director of Legal Link. They talk about the position on Kamarimba in bail issue. The program is still a listen to a good morning salon. We can to you from 98.1 FM. Lawyer Rashid Dumbuya, we want for Nona from an organization Legal Link. We want to follow up this issue we get for do with Kamarimba. And as you've been stated earlier, yesterday we have been pulled 15 reasons them as to why we think say, the judiciary wrong. We make 10 now, they're not able to approve Kamarimba in bail condition. Waiting next, we don't see them 15 issues here don't come out. Yes, so. Um, we will continue the engagement and we will continue the advocacy. And we do all this, not to let the judiciary feel say we don't recognize the good things that happen. Of course, there are some good things that are happening in the judiciary. Currently, for, uh, for example, we see the separation of the different courts, them. We see facelifts to go on. We see also new courts that don't be established. We also see improved access to justice and new courts and then are new areas then now. We know mean they happened before, and now they're commendable, and we appreciate the Chief Justice on the new reforms that would happen. However, we still get problem with the issue of um, uh, um, the wheels of justice turning, and also, of course, the issue of politicization of the judiciary, and of course, the issue of the rule of law. And I make even the World Justice Report this year rank the judiciary low. All right, we, 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 we drop down eight places, unlike last year's report. Then they tell you, say, problem day. And so, it's not enough with all the things that happen. We need to go to the, the nitty gritty, the meats. Let's watch multi year now and then they affect them, the rule of law. 
how we they apply law equally before everyone. All right. So the bail issue of Kamarimba, the judge don't decide. Say if we get bail, that decision must be respected. So that violation right? of in rights way is still there, and if it continue mm -hmm. for the day. Yes. So it's clearly a violation of in, in rights, and, and, and currently he unwell, he very sick, and then it clear the reports don't show say clear. So if anything happened to Kamarimba at this moment, the state will be hell wanting on in right to life. It will be a violation. So again. We thank this government. They do a lot of work, good things in the area of fighting sexual and gender-based violence, which is commendable. But we therefore do this fight in line with the rule of law and in line with due process. The accused self okay. gets right in the way for being respected. One, uh, bail and the issue of fair trial rights. And that's what we are calling on. Presume I'm innocent until the court finds I'm guilty. I ask you earlier, with all the engagement on Adon Depam with the court system and also the lawyers of Kamarimba. What is the fate of Kamarimba in bail? Yeah, so we we hopeful and I should say uh, maybe in the, in, the, in the shortest possible time the the, 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 the justice system will make a decision for, for, for approve the bail. But then we they also call now say nothing will stop the judiciary for very this bail condition. They can add other oaths. They can add other shorty. If this passport now the whole thing where they create the problem, then get power for doing. I mean they within the law. All right, so let me move past this. And I'm appealing. I'm currently, I hope the justice is hearing me. You can get these issues resolved. The judge can go back to the file and vary the bail condition. It can add a short T, it can add a, a house condition. All right, but let this passport issue not be a problem. And the judiciary can subpoena the report from the police on the fire incident. So right. we they call upon the judiciary for step up and for address this issue. Let it not give a bad name at the international community. Can I remember not just one person no more? There are many, many, many cases that go before the judiciary when they do well. But why in Kamarimba matter? We they see some issue then where it perhaps not, not correct. So we they yeah. say, let's move past this. The bail has been granted. Let it be approved. And let justice be served in this matter. Many thanks to you, Jenny, at the program this morning. In name now, lawyer Rashid Dubuya, and at the executive director for Legal Link. He be there this morning. They talk about the 15 points them we then pull yesterday as to reasons them we then say make a wrong way. Say now, Kamarima Mansari, the judiciary not be able for approve in bill condition, and say now, and not able for come out to do well. Also, many thanks to Abdul Rahman MCC, the senior program officer and ban. For you, seven in the program this morning, the table on a report on a robot wash facilities them na some schools in a port local. Now, this edition of the program, good morning, Salon Golefuna. Plenty thank you to the production team. Michael Sambola, Alex Lawrence Kuruma produced the program. DJ Ahmad give you technical support. Moses Kavra and Usman Kamara make on our Twitter, Facebook. So, till we meet again, Mabel Kabadi say goodbye. And Musa Kamara say, have a wonderful day.